BC flood effects being tallied as recovery begins. Provincial and federal officials are looking at how to best get financial help to British Columbia producers hit by flooding that has damaged their property and killed hundreds of thousands of farm animals. Our hearts continue to be with the folks that are struggling with the very difficult situations that are happening right now, BC Agriculture Minister Lana Popham said during a news conference December 3rd. She joined Federal Agriculture Minister Marie-Claude Bibeau at a roundtable discussion December 2nd with about 60 stakeholders representing many of the farm sectors affected by the flooding. These conversations give us a better picture and it comes to putting an agri-recovery program together, and we will continue to get that finalized as soon as possible, Popham said December 3rd. It will mark the second time in only a few months that the program has been triggered in BC. It was implemented in September to help producers hit by record-breaking heat waves and wildfires that destroyed the village of Lytton on June 30. We've been dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic for almost two years, said Amanda Britton, chief information officer of the BC Poultry Association. We had a heat dome here in BC, we had terrible forest fires, and now the flood. Everybody is really feeling it so we want to make sure nobody is left to deal with anxiety or stress by themselves. We want to make sure everybody knows that there are mental health resources available. Popham said December 2nd. About 819 farms remained under evacuation. We know at this point there are 628,000 poultry reported dead, 420 dairy cattle deceased and approximately 12,000 hogs, and also of note, there, are 110 beehives that have been submerged.